guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. I am so excited to take you shopping with me today to Tattered Tulip. It is my favorite store. I've been shopping there for years. I pick up so much of my home decor there. So we're gonna have lots of fun shopping and then I'll come back and show you everything that I pick up because I'm sure I won't leave there empty handed. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, make sure you click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay guys, I'm gonna grab a coffee. You can grab a coffee or tea, sit back, relax and let's head up to Tatter Tulip. I've arrived at the barn at Tatter Tulip. There are three locations. This is the barn. There is also the Mercantile, which we'll be going to next, which is right down the road. These are both located in Lockport, New York, which is about an hour drive for me, which is actually pretty good because if I lived much closer, that would be dangerous. And then they just opened up a third location this past fall, which is in North Tonawanda. And I love that location too. The barn is their original location and it's my favorite. There is so much decor, you guys. So many great little gifties too. I love all of the treasures that I can find here. As you can see, there is so much home decor and I absolutely love all of their florals and their greenery. I pick up so much seasonally here too. They have beautiful everyday home decor, but their seasonal decor is my favorite. It is so unique and different, and I find such great things that you cannot find anywhere else. I absolutely love this bunny pillow. It was so different and cute, and I was so tempted to get it. Everywhere you turn, there is so much beautiful home decor to look at. And this is just the barn. We're gonna be headed down the road to the Mercantile next. I also love the baskets at Tatter Tulip. I think every time I go, I get a new basket. Like I mentioned before, everywhere you turn, there is beautiful home decor. And not just that, it is so beautifully displayed too. I really love these hobnail vases and they were so reasonably priced too. I often find myself walking around the shop several times and every time I walk around, I find something new that I missed the last time. There is just so much to look at. They also have a wide variety of unique and beautiful candlesticks. That is something else I often get there too. I thought this towel was so funny. Like I mentioned before, they have beautiful seasonal decor and some of these lemon pieces I have bought in here.
And now I am headed upstairs at the barn where you can find such beautiful vintage treasures. This is actually my friend Ashley's booth and she's got such amazing vintage decor. I cannot wait to show you. And now I'm headed into the Mercantile, which is right down the road from the barn. And from the moment you walk in, you are surrounded by beautiful home decor. There is so much to look at. My mom and I love coming here, especially for their fall and winter launches. We literally will spend the day here shopping. There is so much to do. We love just taking our time and looking at everything and filling our carts with so much beautiful decor. And I know you're probably wondering if they have an online shop. They do have a website. It doesn't have everything in the store online, but there is a small selection. They also once in a while have live online sales. They haven't had one in a while, but when they do, they are a lot of fun to watch. There is also a Tattered Tulip app that you can find in your app store. I will include a link to the website as well as a discount code off your first order in the description below. I was so happy to find a selection of charger plates. I've been actually on the hunt for charger plates and these are exactly what I was looking for. I was also really excited to find this greenery and these orbs or half spheres. I've shared these often on my Instagram page and every time I do, people always ask me where I get them and they had tons of it there as well as different pics of it as well. And I love how they styled it in this lantern too. I was also excited to find this rabbit. I picked up a few of these when I was here a few months ago and I was happy that I found some more. These pots were really cool too. These look like ones from Anthropology.
I also had a beautiful selection of dried florals. I love dried florals. And these flameless candles are my absolute favorite. They are so realistic. And I thought these rain boots were too cute. I also love the hobnail detail on this honey jar. And I really love these white cottage stoneware crocs. There are two different sizes. The small ones were only $3.95. The large ones were $5.95. They remind me of the marmalade crocs. I've actually picked up a few of these here before. I was also on the hunt for some new greenery and these picks are exactly what I was looking for. Okay, you guys, so I am back from Tatter Tulip. It's actually the next day. By the time I got home and the kids got home, just got busy to actually go through my haul, but it was actually a good thing because I'm gonna show you something I did with one of them. So everything I got, isn't that store amazing? It is, it's amazing. So if you are ever in the Western New York area, it's definitely a must go to, and it's definitely worth the drive to come and visit too. So first things first, I'm gonna show you all of the goodies that I got because like I mentioned, I did not leave empty handed. So the first thing that I picked up were some charger plates. I'm super excited about these charger plates that I picked up because I needed some. I mentioned in my uh, spring dining room, decorate with me, that one of my chargers broke. So I needed some more and look at how beautiful these are. I absolutely love these so much. I like that lighter wood tone. They were only $4.95. So I thought that that was a really good price. So I ended up picking up six of these. So I will actually use these in my dining room now. And then the ones that are in my dining room, I'll use in the uh, kitchen uh, because I needed some more anyway. So I just thought the color was super, super pretty too. I love that lighter wood texture. And I thought the price was really reasonable as well. So for, I had a set of these that I got over the Christmas. I bought a set of these at Tatter to low, $24.95 and they have a remote too. Um, let me actually go grab one of the ones that I have in my um, working right now in my uh, kitchen so you can see how nice they are. Okay, so I have them in my lanterns in my kitchen. So I'm gonna just take one of them out so you can see. Look at that, it's so realistic. I love that flicker of the candle because it kind of, I don't know if you can tell, at night it's probably better, but it really is just, mimics a real candle. Um, I keep them on all the time. <laughs> I just, I love them so much. I don't know if you can tell, this one might be low on a battery too, let me see. Uh, but it really mimics a real candle. They're so worth it, I love those. So I picked up another set. Next I picked up, okay, so I share these on Instagram a lot if you follow me over there. And every time I share these rabbits, bunnies, Everybody wants to know where they're from. Well, they're from Tatter Tulip, and I was so happy that she got more in stock. I just love the distressing on them. You guys, they are only $8.95, $8.95 for this bunny. It's so cute. It's actually by Creative Co-op, and I just love the distressing. I had to, I shared those in my um, spring entry, and I picked up four more um to either have a couple for the home my mom wanted one so i got her one too um i just think they're super super cute wait until you see this so i love this pot you probably saw it during when i was shopping look at this pot you guys this looks like one of the pots from anthropology you follow people on instagram you probably see this pot a lot it looks very familiar um i absolutely love it it was just so cool the detailing on this this one there was a bigger one and then this is a smaller one it was $26.95 i thought that was a reasonable price and then there was a bigger one too and i just love the texture on it look at that texture it's so different 
the ones at Anthropology are a lot more than this one. And I actually think this one is nicer than the one from Anthropology. I love it. It's kind of got like a basket weave to it. It's really just, it's different. The barn, I saw these baskets and I thought they were so cool. I, I can never get enough baskets. Baskets are my favorite. I always say I don't need any more and I always pick up baskets and I always pick up baskets at Tatter Tulip. Like every time I'm at Tatter Tulip, I'm always buying baskets. And I come home, I'm like, I don't need any more baskets, but then I come home with more. Um, I love these, uh, you know, they're like, you can hang, they're hanging baskets. I ended up picking up three of them. I liked how they were displayed at the store. And I'm gonna hang these up in my upstairs hallway because I wanted something that had dimension and texture. But what I love is that you can then change the greens out seasonally. So over at the Mercantile, I found these beautiful picks. And she's just got the best florals and the best greenery. Um, I'm always finding great greenery and florals and different, some not, you know, things that you're not going to see at the craft store at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's. They're always different. This was a really beautiful stem. It is baby's tear. I'll show you here. Hopefully it'll focus in. And they were $7.95 each. And then I used, I'm using two in each basket. I ended up picking up nine of these. And I'm gonna use two in each basket. Look at how pretty. And then when I go up there for the fall, I'll buy new picks like this for fall and then I'll change them out for Christmas. So it's a great way to just easily change out your, um, you know, picks for seasonal decor. And I just love these. I already hung up these um, on the wall just to see how they looked and they look super, super pretty. So I picked up the three and then the greens to go in them and I just, I love, I love the way it looks. It's so, so pretty. So, and one of the reasons I went up there is my friend Ashley has a, which I showed you too, has a booth up at Tatter Tulip. And she was holding a chamber pot for me, an ironstone chamber pot. And it's so funny because it's like a potty pot when you think about it. But I saw a picture of people using chamber pots with their plants in them. Um, I liked them for Christmas. I thought I saw somebody post when I actually, uh, pinned it on my Pinterest where they had like a, a Christmas tree in them. So as sketchy as I was about chamber pots, when it's an iron stone and it's a chamber pot, I just couldn't resist it. So I ended up not buying one and then I saw another one in her booth. I've ended up picking up two. I'm gonna show you what I did with the one of them. So this is the one that Ashley was holding for me and you'll have to check her out on Instagram too. She does a lot of vintage sales online in her story. So I'll tag her here, uh, her Instagram. So if you're over on Instagram, you can check her out too. So this is the one that I bought from her uh, that she was holding for me. It's ironstone too. Um, and I can't flip it over because I have my some of my speckled eggs in them. I just thought that was really pretty. Again, it's a chamber pot, you know, so a potty pot, I like to call it. So, but I just think for Christmas with the trees in them would look really, really pretty um, to put some bulbs in here too, some tulips, any kind of florals in there. That's kind of what inspired me to get it. Well, I probably not necessarily buy a chamber pot, but the fact that it was ironstone and I saw some inspo to use these, I figured I'd get that one. And then when I was checking out her shop, that was the one that she was holding for me. And then when I was up in her shop, I saw this one and I loved how it had a lid. And this one again is ironstone too. Um, so I can't resist, make sure it focuses here. It's ironstone too. So I couldn't resist this one. And the price on this one, you guys, was only $18. Um, so I couldn't resist this one. So um, anytime it's ironstone, I find ironstone. Not that I was looking specifically for a chamber pot, uh, especially two. Uh, but right now I'm actually using them both in my hallway and when I do my uh, spring home tour You'll see how I changed that out and I have them there also too in her booth. She's got so much beautiful uh, Vintage finds. I actually bought this pillow too That they actually make and I just love the grain sack and the worn on it. It was just really cute so I actually have that in a basket and it was 1850 and I just thought that was really pretty. I love the grain sack and I love just like the warmness on it too. At her booth, I bought a basket. All right, so the basket, I'm gonna show it to you here too. 
of what it originally looked like and then when I got it home it was a little too orangey for me um, but I was kind of looking for that kind of style picnic basket and I just the color was a little off I like more neutral uh, colored baskets and lighter colored baskets so I kind of took it in my own hands and that is what I did earlier today. So this is how it is now. It's more of like a gray basket and this green area is also from Tatter Tulip too. I got it a, another time because I wanted to put this on top of my dryer, um, but I just loved the basket and how it opens on both sides. Um, but I ended up painting it. Well, we first stained it and then when we stained it, it was too dark. Uh, but I think staining it helps because if I painted over the orangey color, I don't think it would have given me the same look. So we first stained it dark and then I went over it with a couple different colors. Um, I used my barn wood color that I love to use. It's by Folk Art. And then I topped it with a little bit of Folk Art uh, chalk paint in the color white and a rondac. And it gives it that more of that um, natural color but i really made sure that it has a distressing to it i hope you guys had fun shopping with me today at tattered tulip and we'll have to do a way to um fall and christmas it's it's just crazy i love going up there so anyways you guys if you had fun give me a big thumbs up if you did thank you so much for shopping with me today i hope you had fun as well i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys